Uh, GameStop. Now that's a segue. GameStop has shut down Game Informer. Uh, so despite the Reddit boon, Game Informer is dead. By the way, I love this advertisement for um, Apex Legends. It's like, okay, we have we need this game f- chock full of like black twinks and ugly mutts. Uh, in order to get our DEI points from BlackRock. But how do we sell the game? And they said, put the white chick. <laughs> front and center, largest character on the poster. Yeah, put the white woman on the front. That's how you sell the game. And then you can sell the the characters of BlackRock on the, the back end. Um, game Informer was the long-running video game publication that GameStop managed. I think it became internet only at some point. They were running for, I think, for 30-plus years at this point. 33 thrilling years of bringing you the latest news, reviews, and insights from the ever-involving world of gaming. It is with a heavy heart that we announce the closure of Game Informer. Um, And what's really tragic about this is that um, they had, like, a forum or something. They had all these articles they had written over 33 years and a lot of stuff that was available on the Internet. I think they even had, like, a, a message board. And they shut it all down, and now it's just this. It's just this page, no matter what. So now it's it's just gone. You have this 33-year-old relic, you know, that was on the internet, early on the internet. And it's just gone. And everything on it, poof, bye-bye. All gone. Someone pressed the button. So that's the, uh, I don't know, it's, it's I, I don't have like a, I don't know, Game Informer was around when I was a kid. And it had like a name. Um, I, don't, I don't have a heavy heart for it because I'm not like a gamer, but... The same. I, I'm more sad about the the content on the internet. Like you have this huge thing, and they just like tear it down one day, without any like they without any regard for their own product. They just shut it down. And they say like, well, maybe we should release the rights to the articles, or or allow Creative Commons distribution, or or create archives for it, submit it to the Internet Archive. They're like, nah, just throw up a redirect to the the closure page. Whatever. <laughs> Who gives a shit? That's a little bit sad, I think. You have so much, uh, how many hundreds of man hours went into to maintaining this, you know? You have all these full-time employees that have been around for three decades uh, whose work culminated into this website, and then you just press the button and poof, bye-bye. Uh, and it's gone. All that time spent building this thing up is just gone. Kind of sad, if you think about it. Though I can understand why it closed. Um, anytime I look at Steam and I look at like the most recent games, I'm just thinking, wow, all these suck. None of these look fucking good. People, they're still like, oh, I don't even know what it is. It feels like there's fewer game releases than ever before now. It, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm old, but when I look at like the game releases on Steam, I'm just thinking, like, wow, does nobody publish fucking games anymore? And the games that do come out are like cape shit. They're making more hero shooters and battle royale games still. Like the the new one that's coming out is a uh, Marvel's Overwatch. I, th- I can't remember what it's called. It might be called Fate or something. But it's literally just Overwatch with Marvel characters. And I was looking at it, and I was looking at the the gameplay footage, and I'm just thinking like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't- <laughs> I, I can't see, like, he t- I watched one video where Spider-Man is, like, tying up a bunch of people, and I'm just thinking, like, I don't know who the fuck the bad guys are in this video. Um, I don't know who, I don't know who's killing what. I thought maybe there was a tank in there, but like, oh, no, that's just, like, four bad guys. And the only reason why you can tell is that they have, like, uh, red names. And it's like, Val will figure this shit out, like, 15 fucking years ago. How to do silhouettes, how to do color schemes, how to make it obvious who's the bad guy and who's on your team. And then Overwatch comes along and shits out Overwatch, and or Blizzard comes around and shits out Overwatch. And then it's just like, it's a visual clusterfuck where you have hero shooters and then you don't have ways to determine if the, you know, the diva on that you're shooting at is on your team or the enemy team because she's in a giant pink mech. Well, is that a friend or a foe? What color is pink? And it's like the simplest things. Like you can't make it so that the character designs change color. You can't make it so that when Diva's on your side, her thing is blue or or leave it pink. But when it's on the enemy team, it's like a bright red. Like the simplest things to make the game more more usable are just lost. No, we got to keep Spider-Man's distinct red costume, even when he's your character or on your team. We can't make him blue. That's not trademarked. 
<laughs> it's just awful. Um. So I don't know. It, it, I don't. The games. The games market is so bad. I'm genuinely considering playing fucking RuneScape again. I was thinking, like, damn, I could go for some temple trekking. <laughs> I could go for. I could go for a little bit of farming right now. I haven't done magic tree runs in a long time. I could do that without too much attention. That's how fucking bad it is. That's how dire we are. Level up fishing, bro. I'm getting there. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice! <laughs>